We start this evening with a tale of two beaches, an empty beach in Carmel, a far different scene from yesterday. Video from today on your left, yesterday on your right. All a result of a beach closure that went into effect throughout Monterey County for Independence Day weekend because of a spike in COVID-19 cases. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas is live in Monterey with more on enforcement and some arrests. Christopher. Yeah, Dan, we learned that two people were arrested tonight. A Santa Clara man when he defied that beach closure and then he started fighting with police officers. And we learned a Carmel woman was arrested when she came to his defense. No, you got to get off right now. The man in this video, 59-year-old Jay Ensley, ignoring this Carmel Beach volunteer, the caution tape, the signs warning him the beach was closed, and even police officers. We tried repeatedly to get him to comply and leave the beach. Uh, he refused. He refused uh, to talk to us. Uh, I just kept walking. So when we did get out to have a face-to-face -face with him, he ended up fighting with our officers. The Santa Clara resident was booked into the Monterey County Jail, charged with resisting arrest and unauthorized access to an emergency area. The arrest, the last line of enforcement for a Monterey County beach closure during one of the busiest tourist weekends of the year. It seems a little crazy to me. Right here in the open air, I think it's pretty low risk getting coronavirus out in the open air like this. Very disappointed that the beach is closed, but it's a holiday weekend with the virus. You know, we understand. Carmel Beach, along with several other beaches on the peninsula, closed for the holiday weekend. This comes after a spike in COVID-19 cases. And while the beaches were noticeably empty, downtown Carmel was still swimming with visitors Friday night. How can we can sit in a restaurant and be with each other without a mask on, but we, can, we can't go to the beach? where we could easily be six, eight, 12 feet away from people. But, you know, we can't even do that. That sucks. Yesterday, when Monterey County was added to the state's watch list for an increase in COVID-19 cases, the county was reporting that they had 107.4 cases per 100,000 people over the past two weeks. Today, that number went up. The county is now reporting 141.7 cases per 100,000 people over the last two weeks. And being added to the watch list doesn't trigger any changes immediately. But if those numbers continue to climb, the state can order Monterey County to close businesses they believe are high risk. And those include restaurants and bars. Dan, back Thank to you. Thank you very much, Christopher.